89. Well, she's only been an officer for one term, but already uh, Nancy Mace has challengers lining up to try to take her office, her congressional seat. The latest has a big name behind her. WSAV's Andrew Davis is in our Low Country newsroom tonight to explain. Well, four years ago, Katie Arrington beat incumbent Mark Sanford in the primaries and was the Republican choice to take over in South Carolina's first congressional district. But Joe Cunningham spoiled that plan. Now Arrington is back, running again and running with the support of former President Donald Trump. Let's be honest, Nancy Mace is a sellout. Katie Arrington doesn't hold back when talking about current Congresswoman Nancy Mace and the job she's done in Washington and for the low country. She hasn't prioritized anything that we need. You know, going up there, it, it, she, she got elected as a pro-Trump conservative. Um, and since she's been up there, she's, she hasn't, she sold out the low country. She's more about building a media brand for herself than getting what we need done. The former South Carolina state senator says she learned from her run four years ago, which ended in defeat to Democrat Joe Cunningham, already changing her position on at least one issue, offshore drilling. I wouldn't say I didn't pay attention, but I, I was really thinking, you know, this is the best. We don't want it. It's not good for our, our district. So I'm absolutely no offshore drilling, not an issue. But Arrington hasn't changed her mind on Donald Trump. She campaigned with Donald Trump Jr. in 2018. And just hours after her announcement, Arrington got an endorsement from the former president who called Nancy Mace's attitude devastating to the community. And she is lockstep with Trump on the issue of what exactly happened in the 2020 election. Did president Trump win in 2020? The election absolutely was stolen. There, you know, I can't imagine 81 million people actually voted for Joe Biden. There has been no proof that true stealing has happened yet, though. So I would say that we haven't done full audits. And we need to have that done. Now, just two days ago, Nancy Mace got a high profile endorsement of her own, former Governor Nikki Haley. But these two will now face off in the Republican primary in June. President Trump has already vowed to hold a rally in South Carolina in the next month or, quote, sometime this spring to support both Arrington and State Representative Russell Fry, who's running in House District 7. In a statement, Mace has said she, quote, plans to win and continue to serve the 1st District. Andrew Davis, WSAV News 3, on your side.